Because I know this happens to me a lot. Whenever I do use a setup, it's just here. And you start getting the foot through. But you, maybe you even get his arm up, but then he starts to like put pressure on that side. And then you feel kind of stuck in this position. Like you kick up and you feel stuck. But look at my right arm, the arm that's grabbing the, the hamstring. I'm just going to limp arm out and get my head away. Now we know it's here already. So we're going to have to, you know, the whole, our whole world of attacking the, this, this arm is just there. But I just also want to show you that I can go to his hand and I start to use that to slide my foot through. Now if I want, I can, I can play this kind of half spider guard position or I can loop my heel over and go to the triangle anyway. So you can still get to the triangle despite the fact that he's pressuring you, which usually discourages the triangle. When we think triangle, we typically think we need a ton of space. So let's say I'm here, I have my foot inside. Especially if you're long leg, you feel, man, I need, I need a dramatic amount of space to get a triangle. But the truth is, you just need, you don't need this like height. You don't need this height to get it. You just need space. So if he drops his weight here, I can still manufacture the space. I just have to do it on a lateral plane. I don't have to do it in terms of height. Now just watch your partner's face. You're gonna knee, and then start to open your arm as, as far as you can, and just sneak your foot through the gap. So right here, look, my foot's on his forearm, kind of bicep area. Nothing's stopping me from kicking over his neck. Okay, now the only thing that would prohibit me from doing that uh, is if he keeps a ton of pressure on this side. Right, it might stop me from being able to pull my foot through. See that, I feel that. But where would we go if that were the case? And I'm, I'm not gonna teach you some depth, but and that the whole series we have on this arm, I'm not gonna teach it. I'm just gonna reiterate, pinching on the same side. This whole world here is open to us, which I think is, you know, I would argue that you should go to this probably first, especially in a real fight, you should go to that. But, um, but again, let me just get your, your wrist for one second. So, but if I do end here, when you catch him by surprise, it's easy to hook over right here. See that? I'll just clean up the triangle really quickly. I'm grabbing the head. I'm back to the leg. What's the most important detail is that both of my heels turn out towards the arm. See this arm, this right arm? My heels are gonna turn in that direction. And then watch my left leg. You ready for my left leg? I'm gonna slow down. Look at my left leg. Where's my left leg placed? In front of the shoulder. So if my left leg is placed anywhere medial delta towards his lap, I'm not gonna be able to get a great, a great, like, a great strangle there. I wanna actually have it so that my left knee, in this case, is, is in, front of the, in front of the shoulder, right over the shoulder. See how my heels are per facing diagonally? I keep saying diagonal. Perpendicular. Like a crucifix, right? In comparison to a spine. And then from here, the closing up of the triangle is easy. You see the angle there, right? Shouldn't be here. Should be here and your butt should be in the air. And then you close it for the finish. Uh, you guys want to see one last time? Yeah. On the time? All right, yeah. I won't break this down too much, right? We already did this angle on that. Angle. Flip through. He's a tough guy, he puts a lot of pressure. I need lateral space. I need lateral space. Grab the hand, knee inside, foot on the bicep. Play the game here. We know we have this arm completely dominated. If we want to go to this arm, we can go to this arm. If you want the triangle still within the context of sport jiu-jitsu, triangles are a great option within the context of a real street fight or an MMA fight, I think triangles are probably not the best option. Do they work? They work. But it's, it's my own experience in the last fight, the guy escaped the triangle. I had him in a dead to right triangle and he got out in the last round. So, and it was very exhausting. So I would suggest maybe not going for the real fight. Obviously, sports you get, especially with a gi on, there's so much friction, it's, it's, it's definitely a good option. Close it up, head control, go back to the leg. Now what am I doing? Butt off the ground, perpendicular heels. Left knee goes where though? Where's the left knee? Right on the right shoulder. See? Get the tap. Easy guys. Let's get it on three everybody. One, two, three.